Dwayne Carraway was born and raised in Dallas, attended Roosevelt High School, did his first stint on the Dallas City Council from 2007 to 2015 when term limits forced him out. But in 2017, he was reelected to District 4. That district covers a significant portion of southern Dallas, including the Dallas Zoo, the Cedar Crest neighborhood. News 8's Demond Fernandez tonight live in Oak Cliff. So Demond, he got a lot of support. So plenty of people there are stunned tonight. Yeah, a lot of support and a lot of criticism. You know, this office behind me, John, is now former Mayor Pro Tem's Neighborhood Information Center. The signage from this building was taken off earlier this afternoon. And while no one from his team is speaking or commenting about the corruption charges, members of the community definitely are speaking out about this. Talking here about the former Mayor Pro Tem, Mr. Dwayne Carraway. At KHVN Radio. What should happen uh, in light of what's going on with Mr. Carraway? Phone lines were busy on Dr. Robert Ashley's midday show, Community Forum, on Thursday. Because Dwayne is my friend, and I've seen a lot of wonderful things. As callers dialed in, sounding off about former Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway's resignation from City Hall and the federal corruption charges he's now facing. He is the poster boy of the betrayal of black politicians, elected officials in this city. Critics and supporters are also speaking out across District 4. It don't make sense. Some calling Carraway's guilty plea for accepting nearly a half million dollars in bribes and kickbacks, one of the biggest scandals to rock Dallas City Hall. I'm paying this salary. Then you taking money from somebody else and sticking it in your pocket. Don't make sense to me. You ain't giving me none of it. So it ain't right. We can't go Some neighbors want to remember Carraway as a champion for Southern Dallas, who made sure City Hall responded to community concerns. Call building inspections, get somebody from building inspections to join us now. But where corruption in public office is concerned, uh, it's a disgrace and we've got to do better. Community members say they expect more from elected leaders. Now, several people I talked to who know Caraway personally told me they had brief conversations with him yesterday. They say that he was very vague, only told them that an announcement will be coming out today. And here we have it. In Oak Cliff, Demond Fernandez, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Demond. One incident that is burned.